So create um, a logo for your film company. Um, so the idea is that we're going to create a logo uh, um, that's going to go on your poster for your film poster later on. So we're going to be using um, Microsoft PowerPoint because that allows us to create a vector image, which is uh, what the lesson's about. So from the menu, PowerPoint should be there. Okay, if it's not, maybe scroll down to Microsoft Office down here. We'll open up PowerPoint. We should get a blank, um, a blank slideshow. And I don't need this box. I'm going to click it, press delete on the keyboard. I don't need that one. Delete it on the keyboard. So then we're just going to insert some shapes because shapes are vectors. Um, they're just made up of shapes and lines. That's what vectors are. So I'm going to insert a shape. Um, and for my film logo, I'm going to have a rectangle there. Okay, and I'm going to put in another rectangle. You'll see them appear now here. So I'm going to click another one and I'm going to have one around that size as well. So the color, um, the shape, you can click on it and go to shape fill. You can right click on it and go to it as well. And you can format the shape there. But my shape fill color, I'm going to change it. I'll choose a kind of an orangey peachy color. Okay. Now this is rotate, so I'm going to rotate it. So I'm going to make mine look like a film clapperboard a little bit. Okay, I'm doing this fairly quickly. You can take a bit more care with yours. Um, so there we go. Um, and then you need to start to think about the design of it a little bit more as well. But I've got a shape outline that I want to change. I don't want to have an outline on mine. So I'm going to click there, shape outline, no outline. Um, so that looks vague like a a film clapperboard but also looked a little bit boring so you can insert some more shapes have a look at what shapes are available um start to design it a little bit more so that might give the effect of kind of a tv as well inside it um again the outline no outline and the full color maybe a bit of a darker orange so you you you, you get the idea now what you can also do with the shapes is when we look at the the PowerPoint it's used to use the edit shape tool here so the edit shape tool um, is in shape format so you need to click your shape the edit shape tool is here so you click it and click edit points and so then you can move any of those points now I've done the wrong one really so I'm going to choose this one in the middle so edit shape edit points and then you can move these points around to change what you want to look like and you can make it look like anything you like. So I'm taking, I'm getting away from looking like a TV there, but you, you, again, you get the idea of what you want it to look like. So does that look a bit better? I don't know, but you, you can play around with those types of things. You know, you can put more shapes in, use your edit points to change it, etc. You could um, put in as well. Um, any of these, so there's, there's some stars and banners and things down here at the bottom. So maybe some kind of star might go well with it. Again, you think about the color of it. Okay, put that on again. I, I can edit the um, the shape of it as well with the edit points that I ever wanted to. Okay, so it's just the idea of creating a quite a simple logo that suits it via the film. Once you've done it, it does need to be grouped. So you need to highlight all the way around it, then right click, then group. So then it's just one image now. That's my that's my film logo. And then you can save it. So right click, save as picture, and then you're gonna to wanna to save it in your Google Drive, in your My Drive, and go to your classroom and go to um i'm just gonna go to 9yc1 but then you choose um you choose the lesson that we're in at the moment really so you're going to go to graphics workbook and maybe save it in there okay if you see a graphics workbook one and then just says save it there i'm not going to do that because um it'll save it in your graphics workbook because that's where i've gone to so i'm just going to cancel that. but that's how you save it and that'll be your basic film vector logo so it's, it's made up of shapes and that's what a vector is.